everybody welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new today's video I am gonna do a travel vlog to Juliet Georgia this is a really small town it's about four hours from where we live so me my mom and my sister decided to take a day trip we wanted to take just a little day trip to experience this little town of Juliet so you may be wondering what the heck is in Juliet. Um, so if you've ever seen the movie Fried Green Tomatoes, Juliet is the home of where this movie was filmed. So there's a little cafe in the movie called Whistle Stop Cafe that is actually a real and functioning place. I know whenever I was posting on Instagram, you guys were like, what? That's a real actual place? Yes, it is a real actual functioning cafe. It looks exactly like it did in the movie. So we wanted to go and experience that. So the trip was mainly about that cafe. Cafe. and of course we wanted to eat some of the fried green tomatoes I've never had fried green tomatoes before um, they were okay they're not my favorite thing but it was still nice to go and experience that so also we wanted to look at all of the old houses from the movie a lot of them they've turned into little gift shops so we wanted to go and just look around if you've never saw the movie fried green tomatoes i really hope that this video inspires you to do so it is a really really good feel good movie it's one of those movies that just makes you feel all of the emotions so if you like those kinds of movies you will definitely like this one so Juliet is about four hours from where we live so we left about eight o'clock in the morning and we got there about lunch like I said it's a really small town so we were able to see the majority of everything within two or three hours and then we headed back so it was really good for just a little day trip anyways I'm gonna stop rambling now let's go ahead and hop into the video so it is six o'clock in the morning I'm gonna blow dry my hair really quick and then I'm gonna wake Ray up and get her ready to go I did not have the boys on this day so it's just me my mom my sister and Ray I did wake up around 6 just so I would have time to get ready before she woke up by the way I'm using the Lange low volume to dry my hair so it is a round brush and dryer in one I bought this for myself as a Christmas gift and I've absolutely loved it I don't even use my regular blow dryer anymore I do need to add some more layers in my hair to get the full effect but I love the shine and the bounce that my hair has after I use it. So I do plan to make a video soon after I get more layers in my hair. Um, just to give you guys a full honest review. I was really curious about this tool and if it was worth the hype. I've seen it all over Facebook and other places. So look out for that video in the future. Now it is time to wake Ray up, get her dressed, and then we will officially be North Georgia bound. On the way there, it was a peaceful drive, lots of fields and country, thankfully not a lot of busy traffic. I was really surprised at that because the day that we were traveling happens to be New Year's Eve, so I really expected there to be a lot more traffic on the road. At last, here we are in the small town of Juliet, Georgia. Our first stop was at the Whistle Stop Cafe. It looked a lot like it did in the movie. Lots of pictures from the movie hanging on the walls. And I was especially excited to see a picture of Iggy and Ruth hanging right above our booth.
Of course, while we were there, we had to try the fried green tomatoes. The batter on these were really good, but the tomatoes themselves, I was not a fan. We also got some of their onion rings and those were really good. And then out behind the cafe, you'll find the grave of Frank Bennett. And if you saw the movie, you know the meaning of the saying, the secret is in the sauce. And if you haven't saw the movie, <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it. Over across the street from the cafe are all of the old shops that are still operating as such. We weren't able to go in all of them just because it was New Year's Eve and the majority of them were closed, but we did go in a couple of them and they're mainly just little antique and souvenir shops. So we just shopped around a little bit and enjoyed looking at all of the antiques. As you start walking down the street, you'll see the Opry House, which opens during the yearly Fried Green Tomato Festival. Uh, they said that they hope to have that back up and running next year. It had got canceled this past year due to the pandemic. They're hoping to have that back up and running this coming year. You'll also find the train depot. And then my favorite was this teeny tiny little courthouse. I just could not get over how small it was.
while we were in the honeycomb the owner had told us about the graves to look for so over across the street behind the police station porta potty was buddy jr's arm if you saw the movie this is where they had a funeral for his arm after his train accident but then if you follow mccracken street on around after you pass the cafe you'll find the church on the left which is the home of buddy and ruth's graves fake of course but they are right behind the wooden trash bin my sister and i ran all over this graveyard in the rain looking for these graves and they were right there in the front the whole time <laughs> guys thank you for watching today's video i really hope that you enjoyed it and like i said if you've never saw the movie fried green tomatoes i highly highly recommend you will love it i promise i really enjoyed just going and experiencing this this is my first time ever going to julia before but i'm really glad that i did go so anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one